All right. So um, we were asked to um, complete the square. Um, of the following equation. Um, so they're, they're telling us they give us x squared minus 14x. So <clears throat> remember that we're considering expressions that look like this. ax squared plus bx um, plus c. And so completing the square, there's one thing that we want. One, we need to make sure that a equals 1. Uh, in this particular case, a does equal 1. And then in this particular case, b equals um, negative 14. So to complete the square, we're going to add b over 2. And we're going to square that. So that means we're going to say negative 14 over 2. And I'm writing out each step so you guys can see where it comes from. So then this becomes negative 7 squared. Okay. And at that point, um, it becomes x squared minus 14x, and then negative 7 squared is a positive 49. Now, this value here, this is actually equal to x, and if you have a minus 7 here, minus 7 squared. Now, I'll prove that to you over here on the side. So what I'm saying is, is that if I take the quantity x minus and multiply it by x minus 7, I get x times x, which is x squared. Negative 7 times x is negative 7x. Remember, we're multiplying the row by the column. x times negative 7 is negative 7x. And then negative 7 times negative 7 is a positive 49. And that's basically it. Um, so I've proven that that, and then, oh, well, Remember that if you add ne seven, negative 7x seven plus negative 7x, you get this negative 14x. And so what they want to know is what is this value? This is what goes in the box. And then what is the expression? So um, the answers are scrambled in your um, notes. but it, So I can't say it's A this or B that. So the answer looks like this. Okay, and that's where it comes from. So on the real exam, you're going to get a problem just like this, except it might be x minus 3 and it equals 9 or whatever. But that's the process for completing the square.